Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you my small Marx generator. The Marx generator is a type of voltage multiplier and it was invented in 1924 by Erwin Otto Marx. It is used in high energy physics experiments because it can take a relatively low voltage and multiply it in order to obtain a very high voltage at the end at high current and only uses capacitors and resistors and you can as you can see the this is a very modest and small model but large Marx generator are very very large machines and they can generate even millions of volts that are used in these high energy physics experiments. It is a very interesting circuit because it is very simple and the arrangement of the components is such that you can charge the capacitors in parallel and then discharge the arrangement in series. Therefore, the voltage at each capacitor zooms up and in this case where we have four stages you will obtain at the output four times the voltage of each individual capacitor. Okay, here we can see the circuit. As you can see, we have four capacitors. They are connected in parallel through these resistors. This is just a spark gap that is two wires separated by an air gap. We have three spark gaps in this arrangement. So how the circuit works? Well, at this point, we have the input voltage and here we will have the output voltage. The output will be theoretically four times the input voltage because we have four capacitors. Of course, every circuit has losses and in reality, the output voltage will be less than four times the input. Now, when you connect your high voltage power supply at this point, the capacitors that are in parallel start to charge. The voltage at each capacitor will start to rise and at some point the voltage between these points will be so high that a spark will jump between the terminals. Normally this spark gap, the first one, has a separation that is less than the separation of the other spark gaps because we want that this is the first to fire. Once the first spark gap fires, the spark will generate electromagnetic radiation that will ionize the air in the surroundings. That will make the second spark gap to fire also and then the following spark gap will also fire. So 
all three spark gaps will fire almost at the same time with a difference of a very small fraction of a second. <clears throat> Therefore, we will have sparks here. That means that we have a conductive path. And you can see that the voltage follows this path from here through the capacitor, then the spark gap, second capacitor, second spark gap, third capacitor, fourth spark gap, and fourth capacitor and then it will return to this point. So, at here, at the output, we will have the sum of the voltages of the four capacitors. In this way, the Mars generator multiplies the input voltage by the number of stages. The value of the capacitors, the capacitance, the higher capacitance will mean that you will have a more powerful spark. More capacitance, more amps at the output. Also, you need capacitors that can withstand a voltage that is the same or higher of the voltage at the input. If you put 10,000 volts here, you need capacitors of 10 or more thousand volts. And the resistor, they normally are in the mega ohm range. And all resistors are of the same value. This is my high voltage power supply. It produces around 10,000 volts DC. And the Mars generator, my capacitors are only 6 kilovolts each at 1 nanofarad, so I made a parallel series arrangement. I have three capacitors in parallel, and these three are in series with another three capacitors in parallel. Therefore, I have an equivalent capacitor that is 1.5 nanofarads at 12 kilovolts. And I have four arrangements of series parallel and also each resistor is around one mega ohm and I use it three resistors in series each resistor is 330 kilo ohms for a total of almost one mega ohm and I have the output here this wire and the second wire and here at this point we will have the output that must be almost four times the voltage at the input. So let's see the generator working. I will now use a larger separation to see if we have enough voltage for sparks. Okay, so there you have it, the Marx generator circuit. In a forthcoming video, I will make another version with more stages and larger capacitors in order to obtain a more powerful spark. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.